Hi. Welcome to the Wixt website builder. In this tutorial, I will explain how to aligning multiple elements accurately, grouping elements, and adding an element to an existing group. We will open our web pages to the Wix editor. Align several elements manually is complicated. There is no need to work hard with this tool. I'll show you options and how it's used. Select two or more elements, you can select an image, a vector object, or a text box. A little layout icon will appear above the elements. Click on it and you will open a window with the aligning tools. There are six tools and we use them for different types of align. These are align to left, align to center and align to right. The bottom line is align to top, align to middle and align to bottom. Look how it works. When I click align to left, the elements are aligned to the left. If I click align to center elements, they are aligned vertically. Align to right, the elements are aligned to the right. For the second line of tools I will show you on another example. I'll move this icon down a bit. Now I will select these three icons, hold control on the keyboard or the command for Mac. Clicking on the layout icon. When the align window opens, I will click align to top. As you can see, my icons are aligned on the top line. I'll now select these three boxing texts. I hold control on the keyboard or command for Mac. I click on the icon of layouts. As we see, the elements are aligned on the top line. Now I'll click on the align to bottom. As you can see, the elements were aligned on the bottom line. In the end I will click on align to middle and the elements will be aligned horizontally. Align tools can be started in three ways. The first one is through the icon of layouts. You can use the right click and in the drop down menu you also have the option of layouts. And you can also find align options in the toolbar. There are all six options. Grouping elements. If you want to group some elements, you need to select more elements. Above elements will appear as button group elements. When we click on this option, we grouped those elements. Once the elements are grouped, you can perform several actions including moving them around the editor together, and adding animation. If we want to ungroup them, in the same place where we grouped them, there are ungroup elements button. Just click on it and the elements are out of the group. You can group images, text boxes, vector drawings. Notes. You can not group elements that are added to another element, such as this text inside boxing. The elements that are full width cannot be grouped, such as this large background image. You also cannot group elements that are pinned. Adding an element to an existing group. If you have a group and you want to add one or more element, you need to select a group and select the item you want to add. I will create a group of two elements. Then add another element, while selecting I hold control on the keyboard or command for Mac. Group elements button appear above the elements, and when we click on it, we added the element to the group. Now we can move the group with all the elements together.
Thanks for watching the video. I hope it helped you.